There's another one right there. Hey, so we are at Hi-Fi Mycology and I'm using their amazing mushrooms to cook the barbecue at Hot Lock Fest. And I ordered 400 pounds of mushrooms from Sean. Super excited. We're gonna be uh, heading back to the shop right now to go cook them. Hiya. Oh, wow, look at these things right here. That's beautiful, yeah? <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Hey, yo, how are you, man? These things are amazing. Look at this. This is freaking amazing. So, this one's not ready to pick, but this is what we're going to be doing for hot luck. I got to cook 400 pounds of these. I had a couple of them come and they were looking at it and they gave us, they voted us number one with mise en place. Really? Because we had so many mushrooms <laughs> and it's so clean <clears throat> and it smells so good. I'm pressing them first. There you go. Let's check these out. Look at these. Look at that. Isn't that freaking amazing? It's gorgeous. They have a great the smell. smell. Yeah, smell so good in the bags. So good, dude. So bag. good. Look at how beautiful that is. It's amazing. These are going to make amazing steaks. So we have two items on the menu for hot luck, and we need to start kicking ass. So we got the peppered lion's mane and cognac butter with potato that's coming up, and then also the oyster mushroom souvlaki. So I'm going to do the souvlaki style with the Asian flared tzatziki sauce. So now it's, the big thing is just pressing all these mushrooms. I'm, and I've never pressed 400 pounds of mushrooms before. So I'm gonna do this exactly like you guys have seen in the other videos, one pan at a time. I have four cast iron pans with a couple lids and we're gonna just crank this out authentically. I'm cooking for some of the most well-respected chefs in the country and I wanna make sure they get the best experience that I would do at home. So it doesn't matter if I'm doing a thousand people or two, it's still gonna be the same freaking amazing product. So look at what we have to work with. These things are beautiful though. And this is gorgeous. Look at the size of these things. So I'm gonna try to, as, as much as possible, keep it in one big thing for show and carve it at the station when we're doing the event. Some of them, of course, will be smaller than others, but this is a really good, you know, start with great quality. We're gonna end up with a great product. It's uh, good. You want to do your lines main over there? Oof. It's super simple. We're just trimming these bottom. That's it. So as far as waste goes, that's it. And it's not even waste. I'll give this to Chad and he can put it in his garden. So it looks like these things are like two pounds average. So my guess is I'm gonna be pressing these over a hundred times. Not that I haven't been doing that the last 10 years, but all in one sitting is gonna be killer. They look amazing. See, look at that. Look at this. You gotta do this whole hundred pounds, huh? Not that's not cauliflower. You want 
first with this little computer and just you watch it come off the night here. Get this iron. I'm gonna try one now, yeah. So good. so much like a pork chop. Alright. Oh, Almost done. Twelve hours later. Alright, let's see how much is left. Holy cow. They got through everything except for those. That is impressive. So Chad, what's been happening? Like, do you feel like you got this? Are you gonna come back tomorrow morning and finish this? We're gonna finish it tomorrow. We got a lot done though. Well, but let's see, this is pretty good. Like, that was a huge We got a lot done. We got all the prep for her. This is all building the tacos. These are the lion's mane tacos? No, lion's mane is the up hop. So these, uh, these are the oyster clusters. There with Derek's pressing. So we have a kind of like a Thai tzatziki kind of thing in the hot sauce, shaved cabbage, some cucumber with some grilled mushroom. And then we have a cognac sauce. We have all the mash that we're making. Good, dude. It's so good. It's gonna be good. But we still gotta press these. It's so hard. We still get 10 cases of us. It's about 250 pounds, we got 50 pounds left. We'll do them tomorrow. Ugh. Another day. All right, so yesterday we cranked out, we got about 95% done. Another 50 pounds or so of mushrooms to press and pack up and go set up three o'clock today. We got a rally before everybody gets here. Let's go. Yeah, so we only have a couple more things to do. Look at this. Amazing. Amazing. So good. I'm so impressed with these mushrooms from Hi-Fi. They're amazing. Let's get to it. Talk about the stuff. Are you, so what are you doing with those mushrooms? Do you roast them, put them in the oven, and then you, do you want to put them in those hotel pans so we can slide them in the cameras? The disposables? I yeah. want to roast them quick. You Just for like them? 20 minutes. Roast them in, and are they doing anything else? And then we'll finish them off on the oven. I mean, on the grill there. On the grill. So you can put it, we can put them in, we can start assembling those in the hotel pans. In. Okay. Um, I gotta make the mash. Um, do you need anything at the store? I think we're good. Gum. I have enough butter. Gum. Gum. Uh, gum. Candy. Candy. <laughs> Maybe some. Uh, Maybe some uh, aspirin, because my yeah. body's killing me. Because your old man body hurt. <laughs> um, I'm going to bring, uh, so for the mash, I'm going to put in pastry bags. I'm going to make sure, I just want to make sure that we're totally dialed with. Yeah, put them all in. That's what we should, we should have the guys do that. So for your stuff, you want to you wanna mix the cabbages. Uh, um, just the cabbage is going to be straight up, that's well, it. No, I need that. No, but at least we, oh, put yeah, them, yeah. we should put them in gallons. Mix them with onions, put them in gallons. Same thing with the cubes, and they should be in delis. Um, I'm gonna do my... As long as they're ice cold crispy. What's that? Ice crispy. Yep. And then uh, the sauce. I think that's probably gonna stay in quarts, get thick. I mean, we'll we, can it it, we can thin it out. You need to thin it out. Someone to thin it out. You wanna thin it out. There's a lot of it. We'll just need to squirt it. Yeah. It might be fine out, to, out in the morning when it gets room temp. Yeah. 
Let's pull that out now. How's it been working with your brother again? <laughs> it's good. It's all right. It's all right. We have our own two stations across from each other with a very loud fan. So we're, we're work, it's working out. It's working out. So I just see I just see his lips move. So that's about it. So it's like any good marriage. When yeah. You get old and everybody starts losing their hearing. It's yeah. Like way less argument. Exactly. Exactly. It's just a matter of being prepared because we're going to the middle of a field. So we need everything down to the spoon, to the paper towel, to everything, right? Uh, it's, it's like a sort of Thai version of tzatziki. So you got uh, we got some some yogurt, some coconut milk, um, some green onion, some green onion. Yeah, vegan yogurt, of course. Uh, green onion, some mint, a little garlic, salt, pepper, lime powder, which is really good in it. Nice. So it'll it's be a, a, a sweet herby, a sweet is, herby. This is a yeah. part of. It's like a sweet herby addition to the taco. Thai style. Thai style. It's kind of a mashup of three cultures. You got Middle Eastern, Middle Eastern Thai Mexico, right? Yeah, it's gonna be good. I'm not used to this side of it. <laughs> the work side of things. This side. The business side. I like that side. I like those burners more than these ones. Do I need burners better? Well, I just... I like letting you have... Yeah, you want yeah, to back to the... Right behind you. Oh, that's good. What's happening over here, Jess? Chopping some basil. All morning long. Lord's work. Yeah, it's good. 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 It's amazing. Oh, my God. Okay, so 
soon as the green hits it. Alright. Are either of you vegetarian or vegan or anything? You just try everything? I just try everything. Vegan white chocolate, vanilla ice cream, swirled with berries. One bite, you know the rules. <laughs> Honestly, I would never know the difference. You wouldn't know yeah. the difference. I would literally never know. What kind is this? Like jam? <laughs> yeah, it's like a berry swirl. It's called the berry white stick. Taste that vanilla. Yeah. Not good. Yeah. No. You would not know, right? We didn't tell you. No. Yeah. I was just saying. It's a nice it's a bean based ice cream. That's yeah. delicious. That's really good. Wow, there's a lot of people around, huh? That's a lot of people. <laughs> Words of wisdom. Such a guy, I'm like, oh, we're looking what we're doing. Uh, it's like a large. Grab a bag of charcoal. Going tonight. It's been going amazing. Yeah, <laughs> lots of people into the very white blown sticks. away. Yeah. yeah, blown away by the flavor, the texture, and the taste. And can't believe it's not dairy. It's so good. It's not ice cream. Hey. Hey, Gavin. It's Gavin. <laughs> Kathy, what's the reaction been tonight? It's been fantastic. People are loving it. Yes. He's like, you guys have the best cold. Wow, nice cold you Look at that. That's huh? sharp. Hey. I like Please. that you're cutting it on the bias. Got your chef, got your chef. Isn't that amazing? Look at that. All plants, man. All mushrooms. No animals. Every day. This is like the first picture I have of you and Derek working together. back just finishing the last bit of the dishes exhausted everybody kicked ass it was an awesome event you guys amazing so excited to have Aaron come up and like I don't know just, just really really cool to have him acknowledge everything we're doing and anyways it's been a great night I am utterly exhausted I think my body's gonna fall apart but we did it excited and we'll be back at it again tomorrow